Good evening. Hello, hello. I have Vera Nitsa and also Daniel. Well, let us wait a little bit so that the rest of the people uh, get into the class, okay? So we're going to start in a couple of minutes. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Daniel. Hope you're ready to start with the clock today. Hola, ve que soy yo cortado. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, maybe no, but hopefully we are not going to have any problem tonight with the internet. Eh, hoy, today no. No. Hopefully. Yesterday, see. <laughs> Yesterday, Yesterday you had problems, right, Danny? Yeah, yes, I have a problem. Yeah. But uh, fortunately or hopefully we're not going to have any problem tonight. Vera Liz, good to see you in the class. Activate your camera. That, that was better. Well, Vera Liz, a good boy, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you have prepared some coffee so that you can stay awake in the class. Ah, okay. <laughs> so Gladys, hello Gladys. Oscar, hey, they are just getting into the classes. We're missing one minute <clears throat> in order to start with the 120 uh, minutes class. So almost almost time. So you did the homework, Daniel. Yes, I I tell us about the daily code. Uh, tell us about the the, the uh, how did we call it? That was uh motivational quotes, right? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, let us start from that, okay? I have uh, one sentence modi motivation personal. Okay, tell us about it. Okay. And, I, I, and, and please don't forget to type the 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 uh, I mean the the quote in the chat. No se les olvide digitar la frase en el chat, okay? Para que todos les queden ahí. All right. Ah, okay. So Daniel, go ahead. Ahorita vamos a copiarla en el chat. Yeah. So be ready. Also, Berenice, Norma, Oscar, Gladys, Edgar, be ready with the motivational quote. Daniel said, life is the riding of a bicycle. Oh, yeah, ride a keep bicycle. Your keep your balance. Wait, give me a second because it's a, keep your balance. You must keep moving. <gasps> wow, that's great. Now, did you memorize it? Se la memorizó, Daniel? La primera parte, sí. Life is like a bicycle. <laughs> That's a, a life is like a bicycle. A bicycle. Yeah, it's life like a is bicycle. Like reading uh -huh. a bicycle. You have to keep the balance. You have to keep moving. I I really love that one. I will I will I will I will I will copy all of them. Berenice, what did you learn today? You only really in your life. Is peace. Everything you need in life is peace. Yeah. Love. <laughs> One but, day it doesn't matter. Everyone. Love doesn't matter, but peace. <laughs> All right. Thank you. That was fantastic. Norma, let us know about your your daily quote, your your motivational quote. Type it in the chat, don't forget it. So we are starting with, with that, right? So after Norma, Aníbal. Be ready, Aníbal. After Aníbal, Beraliz. After uh, Beraliz, Oscar. Okay. Any teacher. 
Okay, uh, not ready, Norma? Not ready yet? No, okay, so Aníbal is going to, let, to, to tell us about his motivational quote, okay. My sentence is, uh, goes to this. Goes? Uh, goes, uh, goes, says, goes say, uh, this. Uh, okay, so type say, it in the chat, uh, please, Aníbal. Uh, just uh, do it. Never, never, never stop learning uh, because life never stop uh, teaching. Yeah, wow, that's a good one. Hey, never stop learning because life will never uh, stop, stop teaching, teaching you. Teaching. Wow. Oscar says, just do it. Wow. And that, <laughs> hey, it, it's just do it it's like one, two, three words, but you know, it's very deeply. It's very deep. Just do it. It's, I think it's one of the deep, deeply, deep. It, it's very deeply, right? The deeply is one of the deepliest quotes. Just do it. Okay, Belen? Let me know if you're ready. If you're not ready, let us move on. Mariel, no, Maria Elba, I think Maria didn't know about the, the, the this, right? So Belen, teacher only. Okay, so I thought it was the quote. Okay, I, I got it. Uh, I got it, Belen. Okay, uh, let me see. Ronan? Present, teacher, present. Okay, good evening, Ronan. Let us know about good the evening. quote that you got. Happiness, oh, that's Gladys, right? The happiness doesn't happen by chance, by, but by choice. Okay, let, I will read it once again. Happiness doesn't happen. Oh, okay, so now I got it. Thank you, Gladys. Okay, Ronan, I know, I don't know if you got one. Well, let's move on with Vera Liz. Good evening. Good evening. Make each day your masterpiece. Just that? Yeah. Wow, that is that is fantastic. Make each each day your masterpiece. Wow. Awesome. Thank you. Oscar Antonio. Let's see. Present teacher. Okay, Oscar, did you get a quote for tonight? Repeat, please. Uh, I uh did you did you investigate a motivational quote for tonight? Uh sí, 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 teacher, solo la de que envía ahí el chat. Uh, ah, okay. Just a bit. Okay. Hey, Teresa, Edgar, Teresa, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi, Teresa. Now, did you get the, the motivational quote? No, no, it's a teacher. No, you didn't. Okay, so who's missing people? Aidan? Hello, good evening, Aidan. Hello, teacher. Ha hello, did you investigate a quote, the motivational quote for the group? No, Aidan? Hello? Hello, hello. Now, did you get a quote? Yeah, you know, a motivational quote for tonight? Um, no. No, okay, so no. thanks for letting me know. Hey, people, I will check the list of tenders and uh, meanwhile, you get uh, ready with everything, you know, maybe a pencil, a pen, a notebook, the computer, the laptop, the cell phone, whatever that you work with. So be ready because we're going to start in a couple of minutes, all right? So just give me a second because I need to check the list of tendons. All right, so here we go. Ooh. So, you know, say hello, say present, say I'm here. So that I can nurse you are in the class. Okay. Today, uh, today is Tuesday, right? So Aiden, I saw Aiden there. Belen? 
list attendance people. Aidan. Hello. Hello. Uh, Belen. Claudia. Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, Dina Maribel. Present teachers. All right, teacher Dina. estaré oyente. Uh, okay, Dina, Dina. Sigo con migraña, así que... Uh, okay. Pero estaré escuchando. All right, thanks for Thank letting you. me know, Dina. Thank, Thank you a lot. Gracias. Edgar Edison. Present teacher. Okay, Cl uh, Gladys. Present teacher. All right, uh, Jonathan. Jonathan is not here yet. Okay, give me a second. Uh, Maria Elba. I'm here, teacher. All right, Maria. Uh, Mario Cristobal. Marta Berenice. I'm here. Okay, Michael. Hi, hey, teacher. Okay, Noah. Noé. Okay, Noé. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, una consulta. Tell me, no. Norma. Este, para estar ahorita como de oyente, ¿cómo le puedo poner para solo escuchar? Listener. Listener ah. or oyente in Spanish will be all right. So Pero when I... opción. It's in the, in the profile. In the part that says, leave me a second. En, la, en las tres puntitos que aparecen en, en, en su nombre, por ahí aparece cambiar nombre. Por ahí le puede incluir la palabra oyente o listener. Ok. Ok. Okay, okay. Now, Oscar Antonio. Present. Good. Eh, Ronan. Present, teacher. Present. Good. Teresa Maria. Esa Teresa, I don't know if I was mistaken. Yeah, Teresa is there, but maybe she's facing problems. Now, let me see. I will check people who... who well, let me see once again. I have Claudia Veronica, Jonathan, and Mario Cristobal. So, but at least it's over here, right? So, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to start, people. So, be ready because, you know, we're going to go over uh, a, a lot of activities tonight. And, you know, we're going to start talking about, well, we're going to have some review about what we studied yesterday. And uh, today, the topic that we're in church of is, is about comments, okay? So comments is the topic for tonight. Let me see, some people are still uh, typing. Aníbal says, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. All right, thank you, Aníbal. Good to remember about it. All right, so I will share the screen, you know. So do me the favor to close your microphone in case you're not participating because that helps us a lot in the class. Okay, now yesterday, as you remember, we were talking about frequency adverse and we were we were learning about the, the placement, the pronunciation, the percentage about how frequently every uh, I, I mean how frequently uh, an activity can be, all right, and everything about it, right? So now uh, we're gonna we are gonna be in church of talking about imperatives or commands. They're called commands. They're called imperatives. We're gonna know about it, but first off, uh, we're gonna have some review. We're gonna work with uh, some listening activities, and. Um, <laughs> So that we can get to the point to just, it may be at nine or just some minutes before nine. Okay, so I have some review about frequency adverbs. Okay, 
Okay, let me see. Norma, do me the favor to close your microphone, please. Okay, thank you, Norma. Thank you a lot. So, uh, well, I have I have different expressions <laughs> in here, such as how seldom, how often, or how many. What is the expression that we use in order to talk about frequency of activities, people? How often do you go to the dentist? How often do you go to the dentist? So how often do you go to, to the dentist? Very good. Now in the number two, there is a there is a verb, okay? There is a verb, take a shower, right? So say, she never, ah, it's never because it's the person, right? She, she every day or she always? She always. Ah, okay. A shower. She always Take takes a shower. Shower. Number three. My doctor doesn't smoke. Always, usually, or sometimes. Usually. My doctor usually doesn't smoke. On time. I am always on time. I always am on time or I don't am on time. <laughs> That's like a tongue twister, right? <laughs> I am always on time. I am always. I am always on time. Yes. All right. And the last one, how often do you go to the beach? <laughs> Never, rarely, or usually. It says, I go to the beach. I it's ah, maybe this is the key expression, right? Which I one? love it. I usually. I usually, right? Yeah, yeah, that may be. So we're gonna check it. I hope that you have solved it already in the platform. Wow, you got a team, people. Espero que todos lo hayan completado en la plataforma. Recuérdense, por eso hacemos este repaso para que nos aseguremos de obtener un buen resultado y que al mismo tiempo eh, hagamos un repaso y, y confirmemos lo que aprendimos ayer o reafirmemos. All right, so how often, always, usually, uh, I'm always. And usually, well, yesterday we were talking about the placements of uh, the, the 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 frequency had, right? And we say that when we have any other verb rather than the verb to be, we're going to place the frequency adverb just after the subject. If we have the verb to be, something different happens, right? So let's see. So it's over here, right? So I am always, so the, the frequency advert is just after the verb to be, not after the subject, right? So something that we started yesterday. Well, we're gonna go over the some other activities, okay? So I will share something, let me see. Okay. Ah, well, I remember. It's about a conversation, but not this conversation, okay? I will stop, uh, I will stop sharing this. And I told you, right, to continue practicing the conversation um, yesterday. And that we, today we are we, we are going to be in church of um, practicing the conversation again. So give me a second because, oh, I lost the book. <laughs> hey, what happened to the book? That's all here. I got it. So yesterday, yesterday we were we were practicing with this conversation, right? I told you to memorize the conversation, to practice the conversation, so that uh, today we we can uh, make it better than yesterday, right? Uh, well, give me a second, please. Yesterday I got like some groups. Well, no, actually, I will ask some of you to read it this way. So I won't take into consideration yesterday's uh, group. So Daniel, please, you're going to play the role for John. If you want, you can read it or you can say by heart. And Berenice, you're going to play the role for Anne. So here we go. Okay. 
how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but usually call them on Friday to check the order. Uh, do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Oh, you're right. Fantastic. They like to see you, that you have been practicing. Pretty good. So, Norma and Aníbal. All right. Here we go. Second, second couple. So, you start, eh, Aníbal. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I'll, I'll try to check check it as often as I can. And uh, how often do you call you, your client? I often call him on, on week on the Monday, but usually call him on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call them, them first things in the morning. I believe in it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. All right, fantastic. Thank you very much. Now I will try with the last couple. Uh, Edgar and let's see, I don't know if Mar Maribel. Hello. Oh, yes, right. So Edgar and Maribel. How often do you check your email? Maybe need to uh, and you. Well, I try to check it as often as I, I can. And I and how often do you call your clients? I often guide uh, um, I went on Monday. But actually, can they afraid I to check their or in the UK client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe in it is important to have contact with them with them <laughs> all the time. You are right. Oh, I'm sorry, Maribel. I can see that you are very sick. So, Maribel, you, you want to play the role of a listener tonight? Escucho que está enfermita. Va a estar the listener, eh, Maribel. <laughs> sí, teacher. Okay. okay, lo siento. Okay. Lo siento, pero sí veo que está. <laughs> okay, now everybody, do me the favor. Uh, well, do me the favor to repeat at home. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week. On Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check the, the order. Do you call your clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay, so that was it, people. Now, we're gonna go over an activity, okay? So we saw this activity yesterday, right? As far as I remember. Okay, so I have uh, something for you. We got into the always usually normally and all that stuff, okay? And also you were in church of, uh, tell us about activities that you always do, that you often do, that you sometimes do. 
that you have hardly ever do and that you never do. All right. But in this case, you are going to you were in charge of including the the I mean a reason, right? A reason why you do so. Okay, so I will ask some of you because you know this was also a humble assignment. I will check it. Remember that you when you provide that reason, you need to go like hey, because I always go to the gym. That is not true, right? I don't go to the gym. <laughs> I always go to the gym. Because I have to be in shape. Oh, all right. So that that would be like that would be one example, right? So well, it all depends about you yourself. Okay, I will ask for volunteers. I need three volunteers to share this information. People, only three. Okay, I need three volunteers. Volunteers, volunteers. Volunteers who want to share the information. Con Austin. No, I mean, uh, the information that you got with these expressions. Recuerdense que ayer estuvimos trabajando esto de las actividades, cuando a menudo las hacemos, pero eh, yo les hice un reto en donde ustedes nos explicaran del por qué. Por ejemplo, acá puse una oración. Yo siempre voy al gimnasio porque necesito, ah, porque tengo, because I need, le voy a cambiar mejor. I need to be in shape, porque necesito estar en forma. Okay, esa es la razón. Now, uh, I don't know if you got ready with it. I need three volunteers. Solo necesito okay. tres, tres voluntarios para continuar a la otra actividad. Okay, I am reading my sentences. All right, thank you, Daniel. I always go to my work early because later the traffic is horrible. Excellent. Excellent. I often have, have breakfast at work because I have free time before at a.m. Mm -hmm. I sometimes go to the mall at noon because I don't bring food. Uh, you, you, you don't have... Okay, go ahead. Okay. I hardly ever cook on week because I go to my home late, but weekends I cook. But on weekends you cook. <laughs> All right. Talking, so so you're uh, Daniel the chef. I never finish my work day before at 6 p.m. because there is always enough work. Excellent, Daniel. Great job. Great job. Now you are just Thank going you. beyond. Si ustedes se fijan, ya ustedes ya. Estamos, estamos como dando como la mía extra, porque lo que nos piden acá es, hey, I always go to the gym. I often go to the church. I sometimes visit my parents. I hardly ever play the guitar, and I never go to parties. Ok, hasta ahí nos dejan, pero miren nosotros, en este caso están dando un poquito más, y eso es importantísimo. Ok, second participant. Thank you, Daniel. I don't know if there is another volunteer. I need three volunteers, people, so that we can move on. Daniel, you did a great job. What about the rest? Aidan, Aníbal, Berenice, Edgar, okay, Mario, Miguel, Ronan, Teresa, Veralis, what's going on? Not ready? Not ready, people? Well, don't think that this, this activity will be over. I will continue with it. I will ask you to do it. Uh, if not today, we'll ask you tomorrow to continue with it, okay? So it's quite important for you to create something in English. Okay, now I have a video. It, what are we going to do? The video is like two minutes, no more than that. It's very short. But give me a second, because, okay. 
Now, this is a bit in YouTube. Oh, sorry. ¿Quieres crear tu propia página web profesional o tienda en línea? Ok, just in case uh, we're not, we, 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 we may face some problems Confía tu página proveedor de web hosting número uno. Ok, I will share the, the link para que ustedes lo vean. Voy a, voy a compartir el enlace para que ustedes lo vean. Eh, va a aparecer una, una dama ahí en el, en el video. Yeah, that's right. So, organize. Be honest. How often you are checking email? So, that is the video all about. La vez anterior eh, se tardó mucho en cargarme el video y era porque me estaban revisando los derechos de autor. Entonces, no quiero que me vaya a suceder lo mismo esta noche. Ese día me acosté muy de madrugada porque ya no era de noche. Entonces, este, voy a compartir el enlace para que ustedes lo vean. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer acá? Miren que hoy ni WhatsApp no lo pude activar tampoco. No entiendo por qué. Creo que es porque tengo muchas pestañas abiertas. Pero ahí lo tienen en el chat. ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Lo van a escuchar. So, miren, está súper corto. Solo tiene dos minutos con 28 segundos. ¿Cuál es la actividad o cuál es el reto? Primero, lo van a escuchar y van a ir escribiendo aquello que ustedes comprendan. Si quieren, lo pausan, pero no le van a poner subtítulos. No le van a poner subtítulos. ¿Ok? Si quieren, lo pausan. Y, pero no lo pueden regresar, ok, solo lo escuchan una vez, lo escriben, si lo comprendió, bien, y si no, pues seguimos, ok, porque si no, no nos va a alcanzar el tiempo, solo son dos minutos y 28 segundos, pero hay que optimizar tiempo, cuando usted termine de escribir lo que comprendió, solo lo que, lo que pudo comprender, si es todo, pues perfecto, ok, puede ser un 20, 30, eh, 40, 100%, ok, todo está bien, no se preocupe por eso, es solo un ejercicio. Cuando ustedes terminen, lo van a volver a colocar, pero le van a dar la opción de ponerle el subtítulo. ¿Por qué? Porque ahí sí ya lo van a poder escuchar. Miren, subtitle English. Ok, so, ahí sí ya van, ya van a poder ver qué es lo que dice la persona. Que okay, es otra estrategia que pueden utilizar para estudiar en casa. Es muy, muy gratificante. Ahora, ¿cuánto tiempo van a tener para eso? Miren, van a tener que ocho minutos. Ocho minutos para escuchar una vez, escribir las oraciones y de ahí escucharlos nuevamente y verificar lo que, lo que ustedes escribieron, pues a ver cuántas oraciones tienen buenas. Ok, a partir de este momento, si no hay preguntas, vamos con el ejercicio. Any question, people? Any question. Any question. Ok, so let's go over it. Voy a dejar de compartir. Ya tienen el enlace ahí. Me quedo calladito durante ocho minutos. Cuando terminen esos ocho minutos, yo voy a elegir personas que compartan qué es lo que, qué es lo que escribieron. Ok, so here we go. Eight minutes, de 8 a 10 minutos, ¿ok?
Two minutes more. All right, I'm back. 10 minutes are done, right? So 10 minutes are done. Okay, so uh, Aníbal, what did you get? Eh, habla de todo el tiempo de que hay que revisar. Bueno, para ellos es importante el, 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 el email porque, para, porque de allí... Se, va, se basa todos los, eh, dice que todo el tiempo lo revisa y que... Yeah, eh, but, uh, uh, sorry, Aníbal, but, uh, did, you, did you write down some sentences in English? <laughs> ¿Escribió las oraciones? Yo solo escribí checking email, over time, uh, reading email, y training, cell phone, many 14, y question chat. Eso es lo que logré escribir. Ok, that was perfect. Now, see the video again. Vuelva a ver el video. Y okay. ahora que ya pueda ver los subtítulos, escúchelo y copie por lo menos unas cinco a siete oraciones completas. Las okay. escucha y las trata de estar pronunciando. Eso eh, aprovecha el tiempo mientras yo le, le pregunto a los demás, ¿ok? Thank you. Ok, Aidan. Luego le voy a volver a preguntar a algunos, ¿ok? So be ready. Aidan. Ah, uh, fíjese que no estoy escuchando, teacher. Uh, ok, but what did you get, Aidan? ¿Qué, ¿Qué obtuvo de estos 10 minutos? Este. Check um, the email, email, email uh, constant. Constant. Ella se presenta, dice, my name is Audrey. Oh, sí, algo así. All right. Sí, lo empecé a ver un poquito tardío, así que lo voy a volver a ver. Ok, ok, Aidan, I will get back to you, to okay. your, to your participation. Berenice. I'm reading. <laughs> ok, it's all right. Yeah. Some people that I check your email all 10 minutes, others say check at the, all the time, or maybe check a five minutes. Other people check one how then times on the day. And investigative, the other people watch your cell phone at the meeting time, you know, 100 in the day. And another woman check your email in the ladies room. And the, she check your email say, one, three, on three times in the day. Okay, thank you, Berenice. Now, do me the favor to see the video again. And be sure about the, let me see, the possessive adjective. What is the way she uses possessive adjective, okay? Possessive adjective, you remember, right? My, your, his, her, it's, our, and theirs. Okay, remember about that? Now, focus your attention on the expressions, but notice about the way she uses possessive adjective, please. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Michael. Uh, sí, sí, teacher. 
Yeah, do the favor, please, to share what you got. Mm, bueno, lo que escuché, dice, my name is Anne. Today is um, your topic. When I do my Gmail and others say thing, checking my Gmail, other people checking Gmail. If you are uh, checking Gmail every five minutes, uh, research. So it she checking your email. And she say airport next to. I have seat perfectly. Check my email and and so I hope. And how often check my email? The All right. All right, Michael. That's quite good. Now uh, I will I will uh, ask you the following. Cuando vuelva a pedirles este su participación, tratemos de imitar cómo habla esa persona. Vamos a tratar de, por supuesto, los hombres con su voz masculina y las damas con su voz femenina. No, los, los, los hombres no van a estar ahí imitándole la voz, ya no imitando como ella pronuncia, ¿ok? So here okay. we go. Thank you, Michael. Ya voy a regresar. Necesito okay, okay. que cuando ustedes lo vayan leyendo, lo vayan diciendo que, se, que suene muy, muy parecido a como ella lo dice, ¿ok? Okay. Eh, ok, so vamos a preguntar a otras personas. Let's see. Ver a Liz. Yeah. Thank you for the, for the challenge. You and the topic. How often are are you check it? Uh, your emails. When I do my email training, and I make it. Uh, okay, Vera Liz. Now, I will get back to you, okay? So remember, we are going to try to imitate the way mm -hmm. she speaks, okay? So I will get back to you later. Uh, let me see. Quiero ver quiénes están de listeners, pero no... Let me see. So I think, okay. Okay, Edgar, go ahead with your participation, please. Edgar, Edgar, are you there? Hi, teacher. Okay, need to listen to you. Go ahead, Edgar. After Edgar, uh, Maria Elba, okay? I understand two sentences, sir. Sure. Okay. Um, um, about you are checking your email every five minutes and I don't feel like uh, I got any don't check email only this I understand okay Edgar I will get back to you keep 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 practicing please Keep practicing. Manténgase practicando, ¿ok? Ok, let me see. Eh, Cristóbal. Hello, hello, Cristóbal. Are you there? Mario. Pues Mario, I don't know, Mario. Hola, teacher. Uh, hello, Hola, Mario. Mario. Yeah, now, yes, we can listen to you. Go ahead with your participation, please. Okay. Eh, yo lo que alcancé a escuchar fue, Hi, my name is, is Astrid. Eh, coming in the train and email eh, because and the pupil eh, and the time on the time to they check in day y relax fue lo que yo alcancé a escuchar ok relax ok so keep practicing uh, listen on Friday we're gonna have uh, some practice right I will share something to you so that we can remember what's coming in these days ok so it's quite important ok I will share it with you now now can you see people 
Yes. Yeah, can you see? Yes. Yeah. So, what is the topic that we are discussing tonight? That we're going to discuss tonight. Now, give me a second, please. No, yes. Okay. Now you can see the info there, right? Yeah, the session for tonight is about imperative, right? So this is session number seven. How to use imperatives. We haven't even started with it. Ni siquiera lo hemos comenzado, okay? Estamos haciendo todavía un repaso. Now, what's coming tomorrow? Tomorrow? How to use, how to, needs to. How, okay, so that's for tomorrow. After, the day after tomorrow? How to and need to practice. Okay, practice. So, ¿se recuerdan que cuando diga practice, ustedes están a cargo de investigar algún ejercicio. Y miren, el viernes tenemos práctica de toda la unidad 2. O sea que para estos dos días, ustedes deben preparar por lo menos una actividad. Ok, el día de mañana vamos con have to and need to. Ahora vamos con imperatives. Entonces, todavía estamos con estos dos temas, miren. Todavía estamos. Este ni siquiera lo hemos tocado, pero ya vamos a entrar en él. Ok, so just for you to remember, solo para que lo mantengan en mente qué es lo que se viene en los próximos días. All right, so. On Friday, for example, you can just go over um, an activity from the book and let us know how well you have learned the information. Or maybe you can create a paragraph or you can create a, a, a two minute speech. So it will be up to you. Recuerden, el, el jueves y el viernes ustedes nos van a mostrar Con una actividad, cuán bien ustedes han aprendido algo, algo de esta segunda semana. Ok. Give me a second. All right, so I'll share this. We still have eight minutes. Todavía nos quedan ocho minutos con este tema, con este repaso. And now, listen, I, I want you to ask questions. For example, uh, Adan, ask one question to Aníbal by using how often. Hey, Aníbal, hey, how often do you have meetings at work? And Aníbal will answer. Okay. Okay, and after that, then I will ask some people to ask questions to different people in the group. Okay. So we're going to start with Daniel. Daniel, last question to Aidan, please. Okay, Aidan, how often do you have meeting? Uh huh. Aidan. Aidan, how often do you have meetings, Aidan? So in your book. In your book, you include the information, right? Who did you ask? Well, uh, Daniel asked uh, Aidan, right? Aidan. Has meetings. This may be one answer, right? Every Friday. Maybe an example, right? So, but okay. So, Aidan has meetings every Friday because if you ask Aidan, Aidan, how often do you have meetings? And then Aidan will will let you know and tell you, you know what? I have meetings every single Friday. Okay, and so you include this info over here. 
you include this information over here. So you adapt it, right? Okay, that's for Adam. So you, you can add somebody else over here, right? So then Adam, ask question to Aníbal, please. Aidan, ask question. Es, no comprendí ahí la, la pregunta que tengo que hacerle a Aníbal. Ah, okay. So listen, remember uh -huh. that. Well, I will start again. Remember that. Uh, well, remember that we have the expression "how often," right? How often do you? You can you can complete uh -huh. the sentence by adding uh, extra information such as "Hey, how often do you uh -huh. have meetings?" Uh -huh. Hey, how often do you have meetings? Uh, Aidan, then then you say. Well, I have meetings every Friday. So then you type like Aidan has meetings every Friday. So then you continue okay. with with Aníbal, Belén, etc. Right. So you need to include three over here, right? So it would be really nice if you if you include the information in the chat, in the WhatsApp group or in the chat, so that you can complete this. Let me see. How often do you have meetings? Yeah, how often do you have meetings? So what will be the second question? Let us create another question. So you complete it at home later. Lo completan luego, okay? Pero vamos a crear las horas, las preguntas. Uh, uh, well, uh, vamos a completar por lo menos una casilla para que nos quede de, de, de ejemplo de cómo deben de, de hacerlo. Let's see, Ada, well, uh, Aníbal, for example, Aníbal has meetings every day, todos los días, pobrecito, every day, muy difícil, todos los días. Okay, and... Here we're gonna we're gonna we're going to invent, right? So Edgar, for example. Edgar has meetings Every Monday, every Monday morning. Uy, todo el inicio de la semana. That's Edgar, right? Edgar has meetings every Monday morning. So, how are you going to complete it? ¿Cómo lo van a completar luego en casa? Bueno, escriben la pregunta en el chat. Y ya de ahí pues copian las respuestas, ¿ok? Y completan su cuadrito, ¿ok? Esto les queda como repaso. De esa manera. Podríamos crear como otras preguntas como, hey, how often do you go to church? ¿Qué, qué, cu cada ¿Cuánto vas a la iglesia? How often do you play football? How often do you play soccer? How often do you play basketball? How often do you, do you study English? How, how often, whatever, right? So you, you have to include questions so that you can complete the chat. The chart, sorry. Okay. So we're going to stop with it. Vamos a detenernos acá con el repaso y vamos con algo nuevo. ¿Les parece? Yes, yes. All right. So we're going to stop right here. No lo vamos a desarrollar en clase porque ya pues estuvimos trabajando en el repaso de los frequency adverbs. Mas sin embargo, siempre quedan ahí algunas actividades pendientes. Espero que lo logren completar. Now. Let's, let's get down to business now, yes, right? So we're gonna go over an, an activity that's about uh, something that we need to study tonight, okay? So uh, as at the beginning, I told you about the, the topic, right? We're gonna study commands to order or they are used to order or to tell somebody to do something. That's actually the way we use imperatives or, or commands. They can be called 
imperatives, if you see imperatives, now remarkably you know that it's referring to imperatives, it's referring to commands, right? So it's the same story. Imperatives and commands. All right, so imperative is the same as saying commands. But over here, there is a way, right? So there is there is a way to, to use commands in a very uh, polite way. In a very polite. You know polite? You know polite people? What's the meaning of the word polite? What's the meaning of this word, people? Polite? What is the meaning? Polite. Como de forma educada o agradable, algo así. Excellent. Excellent. So, what is the what is the expression that we're going to use with these commands? Because, you know, commands, as you see, are used to what? What are they used for? Where, where, where are they used for? Para qué usamos los commands? Where the where are the commands or the imperatives used for? Commands or imperative? What, what are they useful for? Uh huh. What are they useful for? Para dar instrucciones. All right. Para a... aconsejar a alguien o solicitar algo. Uh, okay. Ordenar, ordenar. But in this case, all right. In this case, in the very specific way, is to order. Okay. That is that is like one of the main objectives, right? Or to tell someone to do something. So what's better, people, if in Spanish, in Spanish, um revíseme el, el reporte. Por favor, revíseme el reporte. ¿Cuál es mejor? Ahí no depends, right? So, si estamos en el ejército, pues quizás que no, el, el, el comandante ahí en jefe, no sé cómo le dirán, pues tendría que usar una manera ruda, ¿verdad? Hey, check the report. No va a ir ahí como, hey, please check the report. No. But remember, we are in a different, uh, I mean, we work in a different environment. Trabajamos en ambientes diferentes. Tenemos que usar frases como, hey, por favor, hey, please write a check, please send a memo, please check the report, please supervise employees, please go to the meeting, okay? So you perfectly will say like, uh, without, without using the expression, please. You say, hey, write a check, send a memo, check the report, supervise, the employees go to a meeting. Okay, so there's not any problem, but no, it's better when you are polite when talking. It's, it's quite important. Es como en español. Recuerden que la palabra, cuando usamos palabras amables, la amabilidad regresa. O sea, eso en inglés, en español, en japonés, en italiano, en chino, mandarín, en cualquier idioma, pues la amabilidad importa. Okay? So, now, we're going to go over it. Let me see. No, 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 no. No, antes de ir a este ejercicio, voy a... Aquí tengo más información para irnos como un poquito más a fondo en el tema. All right. So now, yes, we are over here. That's about commands. Recuérdense, si usted gusta, puede ir tomando apuntes y, o tomar capturas de pantalla y ya luego pasarlo a su documento Word. Pero ¿y para qué, teacher, si ya están las imágenes? Sí, pero necesito que se familiaricen digitando, escribiendo las expresiones. Ya se los he comentado, ¿verdad? Ok, so here we go. Okay, so commands or 
le llamamos commands or imperatives, right? And they will depend on, now you'll see, the way you use them will depend on the player who is giving it and the situation, all right? The place, so the who is giving it or who is giving you the command and the situation, okay? So keep it in mind. So that's those are like, uh, they, they will depend on that, okay? Now, but how come? Well, this way. Now, we have affirmative statements, okay? So as you can see, you can say, hey, do your homework. Pueden decir, haz tu tarea. O pueden decir, no hagas tu tarea. Okay, so we have affirmative and we have negative. So this is very simple, right? So what are you going to start the command with? You're going to start by using a verb form, the verb do, the verb go, the verb clean, okay? So you're going to use a verb. Okay, see, see the movie, watch the TV, do the dishes, clean the house, etc. You need to say a verb at the beginning. A verb, but in the base form. A verb in base form. And in present, right? In base form. In base form. So what's base form, people? ¿Qué verbo en forma base? Ah, es la manera como se escribe, sin incluirle si está en presente, en pasado, no. Es el verbo, ¿ok? So, do. Do is the verb. En pasado es did y en pasado participio es don. Ya van a llegar a eso, ya van a ver. Did, don. Okay, so, el que, el que usamos es la forma base. Do your homework. Go to your room. Clean your room. Right? Now, if you want, if you want to make it negative, we're going to use don't, okay? So remember that you can be singular and plural, okay? So you, you need to keep it, you, you need to keep that in, in mind. Recuerden que you puede ser plural o puede ser singular. Si usted se fija aquí, no dice you. Y, y, y si es un command, no lo va a traer nunca, o sea, pero ya sabemos que se lo está diciendo a alguien. Puede ser segunda persona singular o segunda persona plural. Puede ser tú o puede ser ustedes. En este caso puede decir, don't do your homework. Puede que se los esté diciendo a todos en el grupo. Hey, don't, no se lo voy a decir, por supuesto, en serio. Don't do your homework. Don't do your homework. ¿Ok? Puede que se lo esté diciendo solo a, a Edgar. Ya directamente, hey, Edgar, please don't do your homework. O puede que se los estoy diciendo a todos. Hey, people, don't, you, don't do your homework. Ok. So, but it all depends on what. ¿De qué va a depender eso? Bueno, si regresemos al, al inicio. It all depends on the place who is giving it and the situation. Ok. So, that's what we have here. Okay, now, so the, the, the positive statement or affirmative statement, affirmative statement, you need to include a verb at the beginning. Negative statement, the only thing that you need to do is to include don't. Don't. Don't do, don't go, don't clean, don't wash, don't whatever, right? Okay, any question about it? Hello, hello. Don't leave me alone, please. No me dejen solo. Dígame si hay preguntas o no hay preguntas. No question. No questions. Is everything clear? It's clear. Okay. So what else do we have here? We have some some uh, expressions, right? Some expressions that can be used at school. So it all depends on the place, right? So we are not at school anymore. We are in the class, right? So we can use some vocabulary here similar to A, right? Stand up, sit down, pay attention, work in pairs, open your book, close your book, uh, raise your hand, go to the board. Okay, so these are expressions that we can use at school. At school. Okay, so let us do something. Now, how many expressions do we have? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten, ten expressions, right? So later, later, well, we're gonna we're gonna get like five now in order to take advantage of time. Vamos a, vamos, a colocar, vamos a buscar cinco expresiones que podamos usar en nuestro trabajo. Ok. Five. Now. Five, please, people. Five expressions. Five commands at work. Commands at work. You can also look in the web, surf the internet and look for, maybe you can find out some examples there. Okay, and please type it in the chat. In order to say, in your, in your school, you are going to change it to at work. En lugar de poner in your school, va a poner at work. Commence. Vamos a cambiar el tema. Commence. At work. At work. Okay. Five minutes, people. Cinco minutos y empiezo a preguntar qué es lo que encontrar. Five minutes, no more than that. Okay, five minutes. Remember, keep concentrating. Get, be concentrating in the class. Try to do your best. You will need at least five commands at work. And remember to include, include the commands in the chat so that everybody can see the commands that you got. That's the activity for just for now.
All right. So which one did you get, people? Which one did you get? Okay, more commands. ¿Cuáles encontraron? Eran. Hello, hello. Hello, people, are you there? Hello. Okay, Daniel, did you get some some commands about uh, commands that you can use at work? Imperative command at work. Yeah. For example, please please print the report. Okay. Please okay. answer the phone or answer my call. Please send email about purchase purchase report. Please go to the meeting. Okay. You didn't get negative statements, uh, uh, Daniel? Negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, please don't print the report. Please don't print the report. Okay. Please don't answer the phone. Please don't answer the phone. Now. Uh, please don't go to the meeting. Please don't go to the meeting. Okay. And that's it, right? Thank you, Daniel. Okay. okay. And anybody else in the group? Anybody else in the group? Ronan, I haven't this. Okay, let me see. Ah, okay. So, Berenice. Okay, Berenice, can you share the ones that you got, please? Yeah, do me the favor to share the ones that you got. Can I share them? Puedo compartirlos? Sí, sí, sí. Okay, so let's see. It's because I have some observations here. Veamos. Uh, let me see. Well, I will try to see another one. Me voy a ir a otra. Give me a second. Okay, so it's, I think over here it would be all right. So look at this. It says, please write a report for the top management. Okay. Please look at this because I want you to, to see, I want you to see the information about the verb, right? Please write. Please plan. Please don't. What's, what's the problem over here? In el primero, miren, please write. Please plan. Please don't eating. So what's the problem with the verb? Tiene que estar en la forma base. Yes, that's right. So how do we correct it? ¿Cómo lo corregimos? Quitando el yeah, so please don't eat in a, in a floor, in the first floor, in the second floor, whatever, right? So please don't use. So what's the problem over here? Only you. Only yes, right? So no the form, but only the base form. Now yes, right? So 
In the first one, the bird pays for. Hey, please write a report for the top management. Please plan strategically. Please don't eat in the floor. Or don't eat in. Please don't don't use. Okay, ah, uh, cell phones no. Please don't use cell phones in the floor. Okay, now it's better, right? Okay, so keep it in mind. Siempre recuérdense de eso, por favor. El verbo está en negativo o está en positivo, el verbo se mantiene igual. Okay? Okay. Thank you. That was quite good. That was quite good. Well, I will try to move on because, you know, time is running and we need to finish with this. Let me see. Maribel says, open the door. Give me the door. Give me the door. Okay, so it would be right. Or give me the keys. Yeah, but it's okay. So it all depends on the situation, right? So thank you, Maribel. Now, how will you complete these sentences, people? ¿Cómo, cómo están en desorden? ¿Cómo quedarían las oraciones acá? Robin shall take the dishes the watch. Wash the dishes. Okay, the first one. Okay, what about this? What is this? <laughs> yeah. So wash the dishes. Okay, so what about this one? What is the verb over here? Thank you, Maria Elba. I got yours, right? All right, very good. Thank you, Maria. Okay, what about these sentences, people? Ravish, take the out. Dishes, wash the. Don't you say wash, wash the dishes, but what about this one? Dishes. Um, rubbish, you know rubbish, right? What is the word? Rubbish, out, down, or take? Take. Uh, so it would be take out, out right? Uh -huh. Take oh, out what? Take out. Take out? Take out. The rubbish. The rubbish. The rubbish. The rubbish. Take the rubbish out. Take the rubbish okay. out. Okay, take the rubbish out. Or take out the rubbish. Both are okay. Now, dishes wash the wash the dishes. Okay. Now don't do the washing up. Do the washing up. So you need to you need to be clear about this. You need to be clear. Okay, so what is the verb over here? No se me va a confundir con el ing, por favor. Este es una frase verbal, ¿ok? Y eso lo van a ver en avanzar. Pero fíjense que el verbo siempre está en forma base. Que no me lo vaya a confundir esto que están en ing. No, esto no es el verbo. Do the washing up. ¿Ok? Or wash the dishes. Es decir, lo mismo. Hey, what, wash the dishes. Or do the washing up. ¿Ok? Significa lo mismo con diferentes palabras. All right, so let's go over some other examples over here. Uh -huh. How do they say this? Yo creo que ya todos hemos visto esto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. How do you say this in English? A smoke. Huh? Don't, huh? don't smoke. Don't smoke. What about this one? Don't drink. Don't drink. Don't drink something, right? It all depends. But we're going to see specifically. This one? Don't turn. Don't, the, don't turn. Right. On the right. And the last one? Right. <laughs> no, you cell phone. Huh? Don't use don't, don't use right? So we're gonna see. So, yeah, no, no smoke. Uh, uh no, no, no. I mean, the expression would be don't. Okay, so we're gonna see. Don't smoke. Don't smoke. Don't drink. 
don't when... drink alcohol, don't drink beer, don't drink whatever, right? So it all depends. Don't turn on the right and don't use cell phones, right? So this expression can be used uh, uh, at work, right? At work, I think people are not allowed to smoke. People are not allowed to drink. People are not allowed to use cell phones while working. So this this can be useful when, when working. Now, use it. Okay, now, read me. Now, uh, something something else that we can take into consideration is that uh, we have some other ways to use commands in English, okay? So we have uh, some other ways. So when you, for example, when you can use commands for uh, when you are cooking, okay? Or to uh, when you are providing recipes, okay? So you provide the ingredients, you include the method, right? So in method. the method, you use the oh, commands. Wow. Yeah. Cut the onion, heat some oil, olive oil, add oregano, garlic, tomatoes, and water, cook the pasta, serve the pasta. Okay, so these are commands. So, but what is the context over here? The context is about food, about food, okay? And let me see. So tomorrow, let me see, because you know, tomorrow we're gonna have some review about this. Mañana, pues nos presentan la, la, la receta de algún platillo favorito, okay? De un platillo que a ustedes les encanta. Como que, que ingredientes lleva, y cuáles son los pasos, solo para poner en contexto, poner en contexto, en un contexto, lo que estamos aprendiendo. Okay, so that's for tomorrow, people. Let's see. Well, we have different, different uh, vocabulary, onion, red pepper, etc. Right? So, but this is about food. Okay, so this is a, an, an exercise for you to, for, for you to, um, include like yes or, or false that for example in the number one you say you need to you need to read onions to make this dish say true or false okay so but it's about this okay so we're not gonna go over it no vamos a ir no vamos a hacer este ejercicio okay porque mañana nos van a presentar ustedes una receta okay y los pasos por supuesto que debemos de seguir so any questions so far Any question? No question. No question. No question. So I will stop sharing this and we're gonna work a little bit in the book. Now it's time to create something. Give me a second. Okay, now what what about this? Okay, so we have some some commands, right? And uh, well we, we have something on here, right? So we learn that we have uh, well one way to use uh, the commands in a very polite way to use the expression, please, okay? Please write a check. Please send a memo. Please check the report. Please supervise the employees. Please go to the meeting. So what are you gonna, what are you gonna do in here? He said, what do you think your classmate boss wants him here to do tomorrow? Well, over here, you're going to include your own information. Vamos a cambiar esto, okay? Van a escribir seis, expresiones que ustedes consideran mañana pues le van a pedir a ustedes en el trabajo ok 
you you do me the favor to name the person, right? So you can say so my boss, mi jefe. Will as me to do the following. Mi jefe me pedirá hacer lo siguiente mañana. To do the following. So. Sorry for my writing. Lo siento por mi escritura. Okay, so my boss will ask me to do the following. So, for example, he will say, hey, um, please check your email. So me va a decir mi jefe mañana. Please check your email. Okay, so do me the favor to create something for tonight. Van a completar eso, los son seis oraciones y nos las van a compartir. Okay, ahora sí voy a solicitar que el, todos participen, a excepción de las personas que, que hemos mencionado que no pueden participar ahora por cuestión de salud o por algún problema técnico. Pero los demás sí esperaría que participen. Okay, so you have, let me see. Seven minutes will be all right. Siete minutos, okay, para escribir. Seven, you have seven minutes, people. Seven minutes. Any question? Are we clean about it? Okay, you have seven minutes, seven.
Okay. So let me see. Uh, Edgar, let us know about what your boss is saying tomorrow. Okay, please check your email and get me the complete shipping process. And make the pending report service change. Uh -huh. And give me the report, the poor report of the ships. All right. Uh, only this is not oh, only the okay. So you're missing two. Okay, so be ready with it. Okay. Thank you, Edgar. Now let me see, because I say I wanted everybody to participate. Let's see. I have uh, Aidan. <clears throat> hello. 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 What? 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 Oh, what is your boss? Uh, asking you to do tomorrow. Uh, uh, please prepare the report. Okay. Send account statement to customer. Uh huh. Um, please make the call to the provider. Okay. Write a check to the supplier. 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 Okay. Supplier. Um, request an account statement from the bank. Okay, request, right? Request. <clears throat> okay. That's it? Only. Only. Okay. Now, uh, now, do me the favor. Ahora que ya lo tienen así, este, para, para aprovechar tiempo, eh, escribanla de manera negativa, Okay. De manera negativa. Ya sabemos qué es lo que les va a pedir, pero lo vamos a hacer de manera negativa también. Thank you, Aidan. Aníbal. Please, Aníbal, do me the favor to tell us about what you got. Please uh, check the line. Uh, please uh, fix the phone. Uh, please provide uh, uh, the construction, okay. the air conditioner. All right, very good. So, hey, tomorrow remember about what you are saying tonight, right? right. As if mañana se recuerdan y a ver si le pegaron algunas o a todas, okay? A ver qué les dicen sus, sus jefes el día de mañana. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, Belén, I don't remember if Belén is, give me a second, Belén. No, Berenice. Yeah, uh, my team leader included me in the round table with the other operation manager and tell me is it at 8 a.m. o'clock. And Virgil tell me review the setting of the computer. And my boss tell me we have a meeting the last at 2 p.m. And Anna asked me how I had a feeling with my team and my process in this place. And George sent me a result the last week. Okay, send me the results about the, the last week. Okay, thank you very much, Berenice. Okay, yeah. remember that the command start with the, with the very itself, right? Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Daniel already participated. Daniel, you already participated, right? Okay. Um, bueno, yo las tengo en, en afirmativo y en negativo. Yeah, please. Okay, please send me the inventory report. Please don't send me the inventory report. Please check your emails. Please don't check your emails. Please make the checks. Please don't make the checks. Please make the bills. Please don't make the bills. Please don't arrive late. Please arrive late. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> that is an expression that anybody would tell you, right? But that in order to practice, that would be all right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Maria Elba? Mm, okay, teacher. Um, please request the CCF. Um, please send the document to this file. Please do teaching for employers. And please make the purchase of the stationery. And please process it and play it with the provider. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, mañana apuntan la que les dijeron sus encargados, okay? Teresa María. I don't know if Teresa, can you listen to me? Okay, I think everybody already participated. I don't know if there is someone who wants to to share info. I think Michael is missing, right? Michael, are you uh, are you ready? All right. All right. My boss asking tomorrow. Uh, Miguel, please hand me your reports weekly. Uh, please don't forget my tools. Uh, Miguel, call me. Call me at eleven. At the living AM. All right. And Miguel, can you help me to clean your workplace? And Miguel, don't arrive late. Don't arrive and, late. And the last, can you check, check, please, at the co workers? All, all right, uh, Michael. Just to clarify, solo para aclarar, Michael, so can you, can you, can you check list? Check the list. Check. Can you check it? Check. Puedes revisarlo. Okay, check it now. Ahora, esto no es un command. ¿Por qué no es un command? Primero, porque recuérdense. Un command no es una pregunta. Un command es hazlo. ¿Ok? No nos van a preguntar si, si lo vamos a hacer. Nos van a pedir de favor, sí, como por ejemplo, please check it. ¿Ok? De manera amable. Pero nos están diciendo que lo hagamos. No me están preguntando. Segundo, siempre vamos a Vamos a iniciar, si es un command, si es un imperative, siempre vamos a iniciar con el verbo. Check it. Please check it. Ok. Ok. Pretty good. Ya ven, todo, todo nos ayuda en el grupo para aclarar. Please check it. Please do this. Please do that. Ok, whatever. All right. So do me a favor to correct it. Now, somehow we have uh, the, the self-assessment. Now you can provide instruction for actions or activities in simple commands, okay? So tomorrow, as I told you, right? Si no les parece la actividad de darnos, por ejemplo, porque esto depende del contexto, ¿verdad? Los commands or uh, los imperatives dependen de un contexto, del lugar donde trabajamos. Eh, yo les decía de, de la tarea de, de crear este o de presentarnos una, una recipe, una, una receta, ¿ok? De modo que podamos visualizarlo en un contexto. Pero si usted no quiere trabajarlo en ese contexto, ok, cree, cree en otra, otro contexto en donde nos nos muestren cómo, cómo se utilizan los commands. All right. So, I can do it independently with occasional help or only with help. So, so just for you to keep it in mind, remember that's a way for you to, for you to check it. Now, 
Well, there is a there is a, a reading over here on going activities. I think it would be really nice if we go over it um deeply tomorrow because you know I, I don't think it's gonna be like we're not gonna have like enough time. We need we need to talk a little about what's what happened tonight, what did you learn, etc. So but we have one I, I mean we are gonna read it so that we can we can have an idea of what's coming tomorrow, right? Uh, there is a read about Mr. Wilson. Check the correct sentences and correct the, the wrong ones. Now, I think this can be done now. Now, I will I will read and then you are going to underline something that you consider is not correct. Okay? Yo voy a ir leyendo y ustedes me dicen si hay algo que no les parece que está correcto y lo vamos... Vamos a tratar de corregirlo, okay? So, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day I check email for the company. I always the phone and talk to the potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July the 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July the 22nd. I am always busy. busy. Uh -huh. I will read this. Do you tell me if it is correct or if it is not correct? Hello, my name is John Wilson. Correct? Correct. Okay. This is number one. This is all right. Number two, I work in an office. Um. I am work in my office. I, I am work. I am working in the office. Okay. So what 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 do you think? Uh, Keep... no, I am not. Uh, I I work in an office. Será que necesitamos el verbo be ahí? O no lo necesitamos. No. No. no, right? So, ¿se no. recuerdan en la, no. Re, no sé si fue en la clase de ayer que yo les dije que no podíamos tener el verbo be y otro verbo al mismo tiempo? O sea, más adelante ustedes van a encontrar, por ejemplo, fr frases verbales. Ya les voy a decir en qué momento. Ah, yo creo que ya sé por qué dicen I, I am work. Ah, ya creo que ya, ya tengo más o menos la idea. Hay una, hay, una, hay una estructura que se llama presente progresivo, present progressive. Pero eso lo van a ver luego. Creo que nosotros lo, lo, lo vamos a abordar. O se abordó en, en, en básico uno, creo que también se abordó. Present progressive o present continuous. En esa estructura, en esa estructura sí se necesita el verbo vi. Pero no es que el verbo be está con otro verbo. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I am working. I am working in an office. Como que está trabajando en la oficina. Ah, ajá. Ahora, ¿se puede esta oración? Okay. Sí se puede y está correcto. Ok. Pero fíjense algo. Eh, la frase en sí, el verbo que se utiliza en esta estructura es el verbo vi y este le vamos a llamar verbo en verbo eh, en participle, present participle, en presente participio se llama esto en sí. Ok, solo en esos casos. Pero 
Acá sí no lo necesitamos. ¿Por qué? Porque este verbo no está... Si este estuviera en ING, sí, posiblemente sí lo necesitarían. ¿Ok? Ahí sí lo necesitarían. Pero el verbo no, mira, está en forma base. I work in an office. So, what is the difference between this one? Well, I will, I will erase this so that we can have a, a clearer idea. Si yo, I am working in an office. Estoy trabajando en una oficina. I, hey, you know what? I'm working in an office now. Estoy trabajando en la oficina o en una oficina ahorita. Okay, but if I say I work in an office, ya este, nos dice otro mensaje. Yo trabajo en una oficina. Es algo que la persona hace regularmente. Presente simple. Now, let's go here. So, hello, my name is John Wilson. All right. I work in an office. All right. I'm a human resources manager. Correct or incorrect? All right. Every day I check email for the company. Correct or incorrect? Correct, right? So you can say, in this case, you say, every day I check emails for the company, or you say, I check email for the company every day. I always answer the phone, correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct, right? So, and talk to potential employees. So it's the same sentence, right? Yeah. Generally, I attend meetings. So we're gonna we're gonna do something, people. So you do the favor to analyze this writing, okay? Do the favor to analyze this writing tomorrow. It's because you know time is it's not gonna be enough tonight. In the morning and not so often in the afternoon. <clears throat> in my company, we always have events. <clears throat> we have to attend a conference on July the 21st. 21. And then we have to attend meetings about the conference on July the 22nd. So I am always with. So we're going to do something, people. Vamos a hacer algo. El día de mañana nos presentan su versión de cómo lo corrigieron si hay algo que corregir. Ok. So we're going to we're going to try to close the, 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 the class by having some reactions about what Hello. happened tonight. So, so what did we learn tonight? ¿Qué hemos estado aprendiendo en, en esta semana? Frequency adverbs. Frequency adverbs. Simple Time expressions. Time expressions. Common. Commands are imperative. Imperative. Imperative common. Okay. Uh, what else have we learned? ¿Qué más hemos aprendido? Recuérdense, ustedes pueden, pueden, como les digo, pueden categorizar las actividades o qué es lo, cómo, cómo ustedes sienten que van avanzando en cuatro maneras. Listening, ¿cómo están avanzando en el listening? Miren en el chat, por favor, ahí les voy a poner las cuatro destrezas. Listening. Esa es una, listening. Speaking. Esa es la otra. Reading. Y la última, writing. Ok. Listen, speaking, reading, and write. Y ahora voy a poner algo acá. No, no pertenece a esa categoría. Pero si no le ponemos esto a las cuatro destrezas, no vamos a avanzar como querramos. Como nosotros queremos. Ok, yo creería que con esas cinco 
nuestro, nuestro trabajo pues va, va, va a avanzar muchísimo. Hey, listening, speaking, reading, writing. And the last one, motivation, right? So, si estamos motivados, no, ustedes se van a autoevaluar y van a decir, hey, ¿cómo ando con el listening? El ejercicio que puso el teacher de la dictado, pues quizás no salió muy bien. Ah, entonces tengo que trabajar listening. Y voy y busco enlaces o voy y estudio los, los, los enlaces que se han discutido en clase. Eh, me vuelvo un experto en ese ejercicio y mi trabajo está completo. O sea, ahí ya, ya me autoevalué. Y si digamos, ok, Enrique Morales, tener problemas con listening, trabaja listening. Entonces voy y trabajo. Entonces avancé ahí. Si yo tengo problemas con el speaking, con el speaking, miren, ahora aprendimos una estrategia. Nos fuimos a un video de YouTube, lo escuchamos sin ponerle el, um, sin ponerle um, el script. Escribimos lo que entendimos y ya luego vimos lo que la persona, leímos lo que la persona estaba diciendo. Miren, ya van dos ejercicios y listening, podemos escucharlo, podemos escribirlo, podemos tratar de reproducirlo nosotros mismos de la manera en que la persona lo está pronunciando. Acuérdense que esos videos son, son muy buenos porque son personas nativas. Ok, eso es, podría ser otra estrategia, ok. Uh, reading, lectura, ok, si sí, cuando estoy leyendo tengo dificultades o quizás tengo muy poco vocabulario, en básico no se preocupen, que si esto, esto apenas va comenzando, ok, pero si usted se dedica a aprender vocabulario por cinco palabras diarias, tres, dos, la que ustedes consideren, pues eso les va a ayudar mucho para cuando se, se enfrenten a diferentes lecturas, a esta palabra es aquella que me aprendí. A esta oración dice esto, porque ya sé que este, esa palabra significa eso. O sea, uh, y en el writing, pues lo mismo, ¿verdad? Ponerse a escribir, a, a, a escribir un párrafo, eh, podría ser un, un, una estrategia, a completar ejercicios, a ordenar eh, oraciones o, o resolver ejercicios en la web de cómo ordenar oraciones, etc. De esa manera, pues creo que eh, vamos a avanzar muchísimo. Uh, ¿Qué actividades tenemos para mañana? ¿Qué vamos a dar? Lo de las recetas. Ah, una receta, si usted gusta mostrarnos una receta o aplicar el, los commands a un contexto de su preferencia. Ok, ¿qué más? Lo último que puso de, 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 de la lectura, verificar eh, a dónde estaban los errores. Ok, eso está en la página. Bueno, y me resuelven, por favor, el ejercicio. En la página 24 está eso. Page 24. Página 24. Ok, solamente eso. Creo que sí. Vale, dejémoslo ahí porque yo sé que ustedes son personas ocupadísimas, pero que no se les olvide que siempre tienen la actividad en la plataforma. ¿Ok? La plataforma es sumamente importante. Después del día de mañana, tienen, eh, recuérdense que de preparar al, algún ejercicio o, as, o a, a alguna actividad en donde ustedes nos muestren qué es lo que han aprendido. ¿verdad? El viernes nos vamos a dedicar de manera general respecto a la unidad 2, pero el jueves va a ser respecto a la temática que nosotros veamos mañana, ¿ok? Ok, no questions, no, no doubts. No, no questions. So let's see tomorrow, ¿ok? Have a good night. God good bless night. Night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Nice tomorrow. Good night.
Good night, good night. Good night, everybody.